Do you still play Street Fighter 6? And if not, I would love to hear why. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, MC Mura here. This is a question I asked over on my community section. I did a poll on this and the results kinda surprised me because we got almost 30% saying no, they're not actively playing anymore. I was kinda shocked because when I looked over at the Steam chart, the game's still very healthy. There's still a very good amount of players playing it daily as they're active. So I expected the percentage of no to be a little bit less but I still think this ball was a great idea because now I get to understand a lot of what the community feels what are the issues they are seeing with Street Fighter 6 my experience is a little bit different because I actually just started playing this game when the game first came out I had a lot of stuff going on in real life so I only really started grinding and playing in a daily fashion or so like mid October or even late October so I'm still fresh on the grind but yeah it seems like a decent amount of people are not playing anymore now the most common reason I've said people say is that they are playing other games and you have to remember 2023 have been a fantastic year for video games Street Fighter 6 is amazing but also there is like Resident Evil there is Final Fantasy Mortal Kombat you know what even if we talk about fighting games we got Mortal Kombat we got Grand Blue we got Street Fighter 6 obviously and even Tekken all come Coming out within the span of one year and my understanding is that Guilty Gear also did like a balance match we got the revival of KI there is so much going on that is fighting for people attention right even if we're talking fighting games it's have been a very busy year now if you couple this with the fact that a lot of people at least in the comment section a lot of them may not exactly love the drive mechanics drive rush drive impact their prevalence yeah maybe you don't enjoy this right so you're waiting for capcom to update the game you're waiting for capcom to do like a balance match to see if you're gonna like the directions they're going with or not Unfortunately, Capcom have decided they're going to do one batch per year, which is probably amazing for people who care about like Capcom Pro Tour and are actively competing and they want to play on a batch that is totally figured out and they feel safe with that. But for the common folks like us, yeah, we're waiting for content. If you don't enjoy the top tiers, if you don't enjoy the balancing, if your character is a struggle, don't play the way you would like to, etc., you have to wait out for a year, right? especially also since Capcom is not rolling out meaningful updates for the competitive players. Most of their DLC have been Avatar stuff and World of Tour stuff, which left a lot of us waiting for anything meaningful. We're not getting characters at a decent rate, we're not getting skins at a decent rate. Maybe we don't, we're not gonna get like a third or like costume four. It doesn't seem like it. So yeah, not enough content, not enough updates to keep the competitive active player satisfied right this is one thing that i noticed a lot of you are saying now the third reason which was also very interesting to me and it is something i've noticed myself is the lack of motivation right street fighter 6 decided to go with a very weird ranking system where it's much closer to something you say you will find in shooter games at least from my experience, something like Overwatch, for example, where you play your matches, you get placement matches, and you can get to master very quickly. Like if you're someone who's really good and you have like a high win rate, you you play your placement, you land in diamond, you can get master in a couple of hours. And the most common reason I've seen people say they quit is they lack motivation because I got my master and now I don't feel like playing right this is very very common capcom have set a goal that is very easily achievable or at least you can achieve it within a short amount of time and this doesn't really give people enough incentive to grind because now you have to deal with mr and i'll get into that a little bit later but master feels like it's too easily achievable and since there is there isn't, there isn't really more that you want maybe if you want that legend rank because but, but that's like top 500 these people are gonna grind anyways so yeah there is lack of motivation to keep people going in contrast to a game like street fighter 5 where the ranking ladder was really long you had to go from for the, the, the journey from bronze to grandmaster was very long in street fighter 5 compared to what we got in street fighter 6 now let's talk about mr because i saw this tweet by cami saying that 
MR is killing ranked on Street Fighter 6. This is also another issue. Uh, Capcom decided to go with a very casual friendly, I would say, ranking system remaster. And once you get to MR, once you get to master, it is just sweat lords sweating 24-7 right everyone is sweaty all the time the issue is because everyone is so sweaty uh we're getting a ton of ones and duns and because capcom have also split the player base even harder due to mr you are fighting the same people over and over if you're seeing anyone in master talk about street fighter what you're gonna hear all the time is i'm fighting the same four or five people i'm fighting the same four or five people and the issue is if you're fighting someone who is is a lot below you or like a lot above you a lot of people are one undunning and in general i don't think the experience is that fun mr seem to be really frustrating for people maybe in regions where there is a ton of players like japan maybe it works fantastic there but for the common folks i don't know if it's actually cutting it uh it seems like a lot of people are having issues with the matchmaking which is my next topic matchmaking in Fighter 6 is a problem right the game the way it looks for matches is a problem i've seen people just like me talk about it from like a geographical sense in the sense that it is favoring the geographical location over the connection quality uh, i had someone in the comments say that they are in australia and instead of the game looking for games in asia which they get better uh, connection quality with the game is looking at europe right so they're getting worse matches some people are saying the matchmaking doesn't work for them at all they don't get games i think in general the ranked experience need to be looked at because it feels like unless you're in a very populated area in america or japan or maybe europe you don't have a good ranking or a good matchmaking experience right me personally i've got to use a vpn to play now it's a reality i get better matches with vpns than i would without it then you couple the fact that mr people are dodging people are not rematching and it's just not a very fun experience i feel like this is something that needs to be looked at couple that with the fact that like i talked about previously the game is not giving people incentive to play rank to begin with and the goals are easily achievable all of that kind of pile up and and kind of really hurt your motivation the main reason i'm playing street fighter 6 is that i feel like i'm not at a place where i am satisfied with my gameplay level and i want to grind but not everyone is that other people are more goal oriented they want to get that shiny rank and that is what keeps them going once they reach it they don't feel like going anymore and the final reason that people have listed is waiting for characters and yeah for me this is an internal issue right now i can't stick to a character although i would say dj is my main right now uh, i'm trying manon and oh my god i'm having so much fun with her i'm seriously considering switching to manon but i don't know what i'm doing to myself but yeah i'm jumping character i tried out chun li marisa luke dj and now manon i got all of them to master and <laughs> yeah I, I just keep i don't find the character that's sticking with me and i feel really happy playing them and and playing them for a long time and really want to get good i don't have a Cody or a poison yet a lot of people are waiting for akuma a lot of people are waiting for other characters and hopefully capcom will satisfy with the upcoming season please please don't do four characters with a very long staggered release schedule like they did with season one their season one handling let's talk about it later anyways and that's about it for this video let me know do you have any other problems with the game this is coming from a place of love this is not complaining this is not whining oh you guys don't stop hating on the game the game no 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 right i actually really like it now more than i did previously and actually really liking it with manon and dj they're a lot more fun than luke sean and marisa was but yeah I, I am having fun right now but i think there is a lot to improve on if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like or a comment help the channel so much we'll be leaving a link to the patreon discord twitter and twitch pages in the description thank you so much for watching and stay safe